Hello everyone and welcome to Magnolia Craft. I'm Megan and today we're going to be working on part 4 of the Cinnamon and Clove mini album. Today we'll be doing page 3 in the book and it's going to go together really fast, blink and you'll miss it. So I'm going to take a piece of black cardstock cut to 8 inches by 9.5 inches. I'm going to put it in my scoreboard with the 9.5 side in. I'm going to score it at 4.5 and, and at 9. Then I'm going to take a piece of black cardstock cut to 8 inches by 9 and 3 quarters, again scoring at 4.5, and but then also at 9 and 9 and a quarter. This will give us a little gusset so that we can put a lot of photos on these pages. I'm going to go ahead and burnish all of those scores. Then I'll also add double sided sticky tape to the half inch flaps on the ends on both of those pages. You want to make sure that you're getting as close to the score line as possible without going over it. On the larger piece, when you put your sticky tape on, you're going to want to make sure that you're keeping it only on that last flap. You do not want sticky tape on your quarter inch gusset. Now you're going to miter the corners of your flaps on the larger piece, making sure not to miter your quarter inch gusset. You want to make sure that that is the full length of the piece. Now I'm going to take my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper and use the half inch side to corner around the two corners that do not have sticky tape on them. Now it's time to attach these extension pieces to the main base page. You're going to do this exactly how we did it on page 1. So you're going to remove the sticky tape backing and then insert the flap using some glue stick so that you can reposition it if you need to. You're going to stick that inside the tunnel of your base page. Remember you always have to be able to open your base page so that you can put it on the spines at the end. Go ahead and do this with both of the extension pieces one on one side of the base page and one on the other. Now I will go ahead and prep the extension pieces and crease down the folds how I want them to be in the final presentation. I want the top folds to have the corner rounded pieces so that we can just pull them out to both sides easily and they fit right back in against each other. The side with the gusset is going to go on top of the side without the gusset. I've already gone ahead and cut my pattern paper, so for the base page I have a piece that measures 7 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters, and I'll go ahead and use some art glitter glue to just glue that down. Then the other 8 pieces of paper that will go on the extension pieces all measure 7 and 3 quarters by 4 and a quarter. I went ahead and used a mixture of plain pink cardstock and pattern cardstock because I want to make sure we have enough of the pattern cardstock to make all of our inserts once we're done with the pages and so that we have enough left over to make some cards or something else after we're finished with our book. As I'm attaching these other pieces to the extensions, I'm making sure to corner around when necessary so that we don't have any corners where there shouldn't be corners on the pattern paper. Thank you. 
This page goes together really quickly, but it will let the person who gets this book put in a lot of pictures. With eight extension sides and the main base, you can get a lot of pictures into onto this page because you don't have to put in a full size picture. You can cut them down and collage them and it will still look good and take up not a lot of space and this page went together in about 20 minutes for me. Now it's time to add a closure. I am running out of magnets, so I thought it would be neat to use a piece of ribbon to do the closure for this page. This is some ribbon that I got in a variety pack from Michaels. Um, so it's just a light pink with some white polka dots on it. I'm going to just eyeball a, a length of it that I think will work, and then I'm going to run some sticky tape in the middle of it making sure that I don't make my sticky tape longer than the book is wide. This ribbon is going to go inside the tunnel and I don't want sticky tape sticking out on either side. I'm going to burnish the sticky tape down really well because it has to attach a fabric to a paper and I just want to make sure that it doesn't ever come off. I'm going to remove the sticky tape backing and then use a copious amount of glue stick so that when I put this in the tunnel, it doesn't stick where it's not supposed to. And this is where I panic because I thought I glued my tunnel shut. <laughs> Turns out I didn't. So I will stick one end of the ribbon in through the tunnel and line up the sticky tape where it needs to be centered in the page. Then I will open up the extensions and burnish that middle section down really well. I do not want this ribbon coming out because people are going to be tugging on it and it needs to be secure. Then I will struggle to tie a bow and futz with it and futz with it and futz with it. <laughs> After way too long, I have it how I want it and I will trim the ends of my bow. And then I'm just gonna use some art glitter glue on the very ends of the ribbon just so it will not fray. I know that this is probably gonna get a lot of use and gonna be tied and untied a lot, so I do not want these ribbon ends fraying. All right, we're finally done with page three. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video and liking it and leaving me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to catch the rest of this series. We're plowing through and next time we'll be working on page four. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.